Alright, so let's go for another game with this team. Really liking how this team is doing so far. Oh, but of course, here we go. I knew it was going to happen. I knew the small gone laundry mat would find me. And here we go. The small gone laundry mat. Uh well, we got a deal. We got to deal. Hmm. Okay, so if we're going against the small gone laundry mat. Oh, oh Smeagol, okay, that's fine. That is totally fine. We can go for Elite Seed now. He's most likely going to baton pass some shit. This is going to be a tough game simply because of Rotom Wash. That thing is really, really tough to fight in any scenario. The bulk, you know, the decent speed. Oh, yeah, it's going to be tough. Let's go for an Encore here just to make sure that, you know, nothing crazy happened. Nothing crazy happened. So now he's probably going to switch out. Let's go for a substitute. Alright, so now he's got Gengar in there. Let's go for Elite Seed. Just to get some extra damage off. You know what? I'm playing a stally game here. But hey, can you blame me? Can you blame me? Alright, so now that Gengar is in there, we can switch straight into Chestnut. Let's go. Straight into Chestnut. Alright, I'm bulletproof. Um, oh yeah, if you don't know, Chestnut totally negates damage from Sludge Bomb thanks to Bulletproof, so... Now let's bog up a little bit, let's bog up. No, he's probably gonna try to see if he can go into his, um... Into his, um... Vol... 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 Corona. Vol Corona's probably gonna be what he wants to do. Maybe we can just go into... To Mammo. No, 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 I'm not liking that option. If he goes into Volcarona, he starts to set up. It is not going to be a good scene in here, so you know what? It's not going to be a good scene if he decides to go into Volcarona. That thing's setting up once with the Quiver Dance, and I pretty much have nothing for it. Oh, man. Okay, alright, so you know what? We have to play very careful until Volcarona's dead. I really want to get my Stealth Rocks up as soon as possible to fight this thing. Would this Gengar want to do anything else to me right now? He has Shadow Ball. I'm not liking this, but, um... Uh, I'm not liking this, but... Fuck it, go into Mamoswine. Okay, okay, so Smeargle's in there now. Uh, let's go for an Ice Shard. Just to get some extra damage off. Probably gonna go into the Smog on Laundry Man. Will he go into small on laundry mat? I mean, cuz, cuz, oh, it didn't do enough to kill him. Oh, sticky web, you bastard. Okay. Now, let's go for, you know what, let's go for, I don't know, cuz at this point, his Smeargle, is it really valuable to him anymore? He knows the ice shard's gonna be coming, right? He knows it's gonna be coming, so, wouldn't he do something else? Let's go for a stealth rock. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good thing we played careful there. Let's go into Whimsicott now, because um, it's a good thing I didn't go for the Ice Shard, man. But then again, if he had gone for the Destiny Bond and I had gone for the Ice Shard, it wouldn't have really hurt me too much. Spore! Ha! Ha ha! Good thing I Whimsicott saved the day! Now I'm gonna go for an Encore to keep this bitch locked in. Maybe we should go for a Leech Seed. You know what? Or maybe we should go for a Substitute. I think Substitute might just be the best option here. Yeah, Substitute. Best option. Destiny Bond, okay, that's fine. So this way we can now take him out with Leech Seed and you know, we won't get KO'd ourselves. I don't think Destiny Bond works with Leech Seed damage. Good, okay, status damage. Destiny Bond doesn't have any jurisdiction over that. So now we're going to go for a, um, you know what, Ball Corona bothers me. Let's go for a Leech Seed. Oh no, it missed! Oh damn it. Why did it have to miss there? Let's go for my Emboar now, because we'll be able to take pretty much anything Volcarona wants to do. Bug Buzz, Fire Dance, you name it. It's no problem. Quiver Dance, okay. Here we go. It's getting serious now. 
It's getting serious now. Let's go for a Flare Blitz. It'll do neutral damage, that's fine. I resist the Fiery Dance, no problem. Straight for it, easy takeout, especially considering that it doesn't resist Flyer mode, so this is this works out great for me. Uh, I got another message. Thank you. Thanks, man, it was crazy. Sorry if I'm not talking to you guys actively enough when you're on show now. I just, I just get a little into my games, you know, so I, I we have this Blastoise in there. Oh boy. Okay, I already know what a problem like a Blastoise can be, so he's probably gonna go for this um the rapid spin. Ice beam! Ooh! Okay, you're one of those! Alright. Alright, I see what's going on here. But you're still not gonna be able to outspeed me, even if you do have the sticky web up on my side of the field. I don't think you're gonna be able to outspeed Galvangelo, that's for sure. But you might just go into his um, Tyranitar at that point. This is ballsy. This is ballsy. <laughs> this is ballsy. But I don't think he'll be able to go into his. Um, I believe he wants to go into his Tyranitar? He probably thinks he can outspeed me, maybe. What would I do if I was him? If I was him, I would. Um, I would just go into Tyranitar just to play it extra, extra safe. But what if he doesn't decide to play it safe? Is he in a position to play it safe? He's not in a position to play it safe. He's nowhere... No, no, no. He's not in a position to play risky with his Blastoise. He's not. Looking at his team, he's totally not in a position to play risky. So you know what? Let's just go for the sticky web here. Yeah, it's a good thing. Because I knew he's nowhere near a position to play risky at the moment. He's going to Chestnut. He totally resists everything Gengar wants to do. Shadow Ball, Sludge Bomb, doesn't matter. Okay, Substitute, that's fine. I pretty much resist most, unless he has Dazzling Gleam, which he just might. Shit, they always have Dazzling Gleam, damn it. Okay, that sucks. Um, all right, let's just go for a Wood Hammer, even though it's not gonna do, well, it'll break the sub at least. Okay, we managed to live that second one, it's fine. Okay, this is great. You get some good switch initiative. Okay. And um, now we can go into our um, Galvantula. Or we can go into Blastoise here. Yeah, let's go into Blastoise. A little bit of an odd play, but um, let's just see what we can do here. So let's Mega Evolve and then go for the. Let's go for the Dark Horse. Sludge Bomb. A critical hit! Thank you! Thank you, I appreciate that so much. Thank you for the crit. Okay, probably gonna go into the Smog on Laundry Mat now. Oh, his own Blastoise. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, might be able to outspeed him. It's gonna be a, probably a, probably gonna be a, a, a gamble. Let's go for a Dark Pulse, just to get the flinch chance. No, he outspeeds. Okay, that's fine. Maybe he has a little bit of speed in his Mega uh, Blastoise. Let's go into Galvantula. He's probably not going to want to play too risky. No, he's going to want to save his Mega Blastoise because he knows that's the only thing he pretty much has for my Mammoth Swine. Yeah, he's not going to want to play risky with Mega Blastoise. So let's just go for the Bug Buzz because he's probably going to switch out. He's probably going to switch out. Okay, this is fine. Bug Buzz. He's oh, good move. Okay, excellent, excellent. That was a nice play on my part. This Tyranitar is not going to be able to take another one. And if he goes into the small ball and laundry mat, then we can just take him. He'll be taking extra damage from the bug buzzes as well. This is fine. We put ourselves in a really good position here. If I had gone straight for the thunder, I would have been. It would have been ugly for me. But now we have a problem here because now the small ball and laundry mat. That's going to be my main hindrance. Let's go for a bug buzz and hope he misses his hydro pump. Damn man, this thing takes so many hits. Fucking Rotom Wash. I hate this Pokemon. <laughs> I hate Rotom Wash. <laughs> Um, let's go for another Bug Buzz. Okay, good. We managed- Ooh, and we got the crit! Oh, that's payback for the Sludge Bomb crit from the Gengar on Black of Blastoise before. Very nice. Oh, and the, and the washing machine goes down?
Damn, this is gonna be a tough one now. His Mega Blastoise most likely has speed EVs, but is Mega Blastoise naturally faster than Mammoth Swine? I don't think so. Maybe, maybe his Mega Blastoise just won the speed tie. I don't see a Mega Blastoise having speed for any reason, so you know what? I think Mega Blastoise is slower than Mammoth Swine. Let's just make sure. Uh, 78, they speed. Mammoth Swine has. 80, I think. It has 80. Okay, we'll be able to outspeed him. Go for an earthquake. If only he had the sticky web only on his side of the field, it would be a guaranteed outspeed, but it's fine. We'll be able to hit him with the earthquake outspeed naturally. Uh, we are going to die now, thanks to Aura Sphere. And um, he's probably thinking he has this game in the bag. It's not over yet, though. But then again, Blastoise doesn't have priority. So at this point, we'll be able to go for a Sucker Punch, KO the Blastoise, and that will be a good game. Like I'm telling you guys, this team is very good. I'm loving him. I'm loving him. Um, good game. So, uh, lessons to learn from that battle. Never doubt Gengar's having Dazzling and Gleam. They, they got that shit. They carry that fucking attack, man, just to handle dragons. They always got that shit. I learned my lesson. I'm never going to play Reckless like that again, even though Chestnut does kind of wall if it doesn't have um, Dazzling Gleam, but they usually do. It, I remember the days of Mega Gengar was running around. That thing would always have Dazzling Gleam. So, um, lessons learned. It was a good game. And, um, yeah, man. I'm going to end it at that. But let's go. Let's, let's, see, what go let's see what happens, okay? Later. Fuck myself.